drain the batteries, you drain the foam, the spirit box, the necrophonics, and all we wanted was for a sign that you were here. You make one now that we're outside. Please. There's a tin roof above my head. Knock on that. My name is Leslie, and this is Rhonda, and you are watching All Things Paranormal. Back by popular demand, a year ago, I filmed my dolls, Sally and Lilith, in a hotel room. I was testing out my dolls for the first time, my spirit box, and of course, my brand new camera, along with my editing device. About a year ago, last year, is when I really got into filming. Through a video of my dolls on YouTube, it became a hit. So, because I don't film my dolls often, I like to film different things. We decided to sit here around this backyard and record them using the SB7 and the Necrophonics. Maybe they'll talk to us. Sally here was bought on eBay, and so was Lilith. Lilith was actually my first doll. Supposedly, with Lilith, there was a demon that's attached to her. I haven't had any problems with Lilith. However, Sally, who has a woman spirit attached to her, I have had problems. Is because of Sally's activity, I had to get a storage unit a while back. Hence the reason I was able to film not one, but two videos of the storage units. So Sally threw a pizza pan at my roommate at the time, Sam. You guys know her from her filming with me in the past. Uh, she turned on my gas stove, she was opening and closing my dresser drawer, knocking on the wall to try to get out of the room that I had locked her in. Uh, when my son and I, we had did a little video in my room, just speaking to her with dolls and rods, I was taking pictures of behind us and you could see that there was a woman dressed in blue that was behind us. So I had locked Sally and everything that I have haunted inside of a storage unit. And I took her out, had her at my house now for about four months, and I haven't had any issues. It's because I also keep her protected. But tonight, we're out open, no protection, um, in a completely different uh, location. She's far away from my house, so Ron and I are going to talk to both of them and see who's most haunted. Why is Sally haunted with the spirit that's attached to her? Alright guys, let's get started. Looks like background um, with the buyer with Lilith. Um, the owner on eBay claimed that the doll was haunted by the goddess or daemon, however you want to refer to her, Lilith, the the demon Lilith. Um, supposedly, an occultist owned her, tried to summon Lilith um, into his circle, 
it didn't work out well, so the closest object that he had to capture the demon Lilith was this doll. So he was able to put the soul of the demon into the doll. However, like I said, I haven't had any issues with her. The only thing that I had was when I opened her up from the box, I had a bad migraine. But other than that, uh, I haven't had any paranormal activity with her. I haven't had any EMF readings. However, with Sally, her backstory was um, the lady that I had bought her from. Um, she was just causing noises around the house. You see orbs, high EMF readings, and just strange occurrences would happen when she's sleeping. Uh, footsteps in the hallway, banging on the windows and the doors and things of that sort. And I have acquired the same haunting with her um, as far as like the banging on the walls, the opening and closing of the dresser drawers. Um, as far as EMF reading, I believe I got a slight EMF reading on her and I've had a lot of contact with the dowsing rods. Through that, um, she had told me that she's uh, early age of 22, between 22 and 24 years old. Um, she was murdered in the 1940s by her lover. He choked her to death and now she's angry about it and she's going to stay angry. Of course, if you um, pass away uh, an emotion, especially with anger, you're going to come back pretty pissed off. So tonight we're going to start with the SB7 and see what we can get out of, uh, as far as what we can get as far as a response out of <coughs> Sally tonight. Sally or Lilith, would you like to speak to us tonight? We have a better device for you to tell your story with. Through the dowsing rods, you were able to tell me your age, how you died, that you were angry. Can you do the same with the spirit box? That was the same voice. <clears throat> For what? So we can try to understand you. After all, you do live in my house. So I'd like to get to know your story. I don't want to know you just as a haunted doll. <laughs> Lilith, do you want to talk to us? We're going to see why they're quiet and try the necrophonics. Yep. Lilith and... Sally. Sally and Lilith. Sally and Lilith. Y'all want to speak to us? Y'all try to come through this box. It might be better for you. What? I heard noises 
on when walking. Goosebumps bad, I'm frozen goosebumps. I'm getting the chills. Sally. My hip. Doll. Which doll? <clears throat> Are y'all causing this pain in my hip? Cause paranormal activity all of the time. Can you give us a sign and let us know you're here? My ankle? Run? You heard that. Playing this day, run. No running. Are you running? Are you running through the grass right here? I just heard a man's voice right behind me. It said, really? It said, really? Really. I told you I was hearing somebody right there. So we have another spirit here with us besides Sally and Lilith. Unless it's that man spirit that's attached to Lilith, let's turn this app back on and find out what's going on with my dolls. Who's the man behind Leslie? Me. 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 So who is the, who is me? You said me when I asked who was behind Leslie. Who are you? Lilith. <sighs> so Lilith is haunted. See. Oh, I got goosebumps. So Lilith is haunted. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes, Lilith. I'm gonna stop it because I'm really excited to find out my dolls really haunt it. It said Lilith, Lilith, Lilith. Yes, Lilith. I got goosebumps. You didn't hear it, Lilith, Lilith, Lilith. Yes, Lilith. We, <laughs> I have a problem with talking through the app because I get over excited. I'm sorry. For my doll that's mostly haunted. Can you move? I want my most haunted doll to move for me, please, if that's possible. Said there are eight of them, they're coming. I'm trying to get clean now on my, my last Where? Right here. Oh, up there? I was getting it right here. No. no. Sally. Did you get stabbed? On your left side somewhere, maybe? Because me and you both have been on the left side. That's nerve. That's, that's nerve. Did you get stabbed? Do one of you get stabbed? Yep. You heard that what? That what? You didn't hear that bang just now? Yeah. I'm really waiting for a noise, Rhonda. Awesome. Help you. Lilith and Sally, can you make a noise?
very draining because you never know who or what is going to come through. So we're going to add the Necrophonics app and the Spirit Box together and see if they can create enough energy to come through. We're asking for them to give us a sign. Get. It said chair earlier, so we're trying to see if it's going to come sit in this chair next to us or move it. See. It's going to be noisy for a minute, but bear with us, guys. We really want to see if this works. Alright, there you go. You have enough white noise now and enough energy to pull through, to manifest yourself, to make a noise for us and let us know that you are here. Everything's dying. What the fuck is that? Her phone just went low power mode. The battery on my camera's dying. The battery on her camera's dying. So they're pulling in enough energy to where they can actually communicate with us right now. I just heard something. I feel, I feel a presence on who's here. I feel like behind me. Can you guys manifest yourselves? Give us some kind of sign that you're here. You're draining all of our batteries and all of our equipment, our cell phones. So we're going to turn off the app and try and speak to the dolls in silence. We're going to do this old school. Maybe they'll come speak to our, our cameras. We'll give us a noise that we can hear without right. the app. Moose does it any time. Get up, it's only 240. And we are in Morero. <laughs> we shouldn't have roosters here. This is almost a city. This is civilization. But that's right there. They roost the. That sounds like some sound like woods rooster. behind your house. Okay, Lilith or Sally. Can you speak to us, please? Or kindly give us a sign to let us know that you are here. We mean you no harm. I'm just trying to get to know you, to see if you need help. You hear the screeching? I do. That, that ain't, ain't no rooster. rooster. <laughs> that ain't no rooster. Sounds like a banshee. I hope the camera can pick this up. I hope they hear it. Everything else got quiet. With our equipment dying, guys, we're going to call this 
session a night. I'm sure we're going to be back here doing this many, many of times because I do want to get to know my dolls a little bit more instead of having them lay around on my shelf in my room. Um, I want to see if I can help them in any kind of way, kind of find out about their back history, you know, about their backstory, um, how, how they passed away and how they got attached to the dolls. Um, so we're going to figure that out later down the line. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support and for just subscribing to my channel. Uh, remember, like, share, subscribe, and drop a comment down below uh, whether you picked up something that we have passed up, you know, that we overlooked. Or drop a comment stating if you want to see more videos of my dolls. Um, possibly using I heard that too. different equipment. We're hearing noises now that we turned off all the spirit boxes and the apps. Um, might be that noise or sound that we asked for earlier. But as always, guys, um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and join us.